Linkas is a mobile VoIP client for AdSeries VoIP PPX that makes your iPhone or Android phone an office extension. In this video, we will explain how to use Linkas on iPhone. Before everything, the administrator needs to install Linkas app in AdSeries PPX. To install Linkas, enter the App Center. When installation finishes, click the main menu and you will find Linkas. Click the Linkas icon and check the box before enable. We will enable Linkas client on all extensions here. Please note that the Select All checkbox in the first row only select extensions displayed in this page. You can choose to display 100 extensions in each page, and then select all. If the PBX has more than 100 extensions, you need to go to the other pages and repeat the operations. Click Enable for the selected extensions, and the system will ask you to change the default user password. The password is also the login password for Linkas mobile client. For Linkas security, we suggest that you set up robust passwords that include a combination of numerics, uppercase letters, and lowercase letters. Select extensions and enable Linkas client for them. The administrator can assign Linkas login information to extension users via emails containing Linkas login QR code and login link. The extension user can log in Linkas mobile client quickly with either the QR code or link. Firstly, click Server Settings to configure the Linkas server. The system will generate QR codes and login links using the server settings. Make sure you have entered the correct server settings. The Linkas remote registration is made through the PBX network interface, which is configured with a private IP. You need to forward SIP registration port default 5060 on your router and enter the forwarded port here. For example, the PBX port 5060 is forwarded to the external port 5080, so we enter 5080 here. The Linkas remote registration is made through the PBX network interface, which is configured with a public IP. So you don't need to do port forwarding. Enter the local SIP registration port here. The connection between Linkas and PBX is made through VPN network. So you don't need to do port forwarding. Enter the local SIP registration port here. Save the configuration. Click Email Template to modify the email subject and contents. We will keep the default settings here and click Save. Now select the extensions and click Send Email. 
please make sure the select extensions have email address tied and have enabled link us. If the system failed to send emails, you can see the email failure status on the link us settings page. Click failure sending email to resend the email. If the Linkus remote login is made through the PBX network interface, which is configured with the private IP, then you need to forward the Linkus related port on the router and configure net settings. The administrator needs to forward the following ports. Next, log in S series PBX and configure net settings according to the network environment. We choose external IP address here. Fill in external IP address and the SIP port. Fill in the PBX local IP address. In net mode, choose yes. Click save and apply. Now everything is ready on the server side, let's see how to use Linkus on iPhone. In the App Store, search eStar and you will find Linkus in the results. Click to install. Tap the Linkus icon to launch. On your first launching, you will be prompted whether to allow Linkus to access data and your contacts. Click Allow and Continue. Users could log in Linkus mobile client via one of the following three methods. If you have received the Linkus login email on your computer, you can choose to log in Linkus via the QR code. Tap the QR code button on Linkus login page and scan the QR code to log in. If you have received the Linkus login email on your mobile phone, you can choose to log in Linkus via the link. Copy the link, then open Linkus mobile client and tap OK to log in. The QR code and login link in email are valid in 30 minutes and can only be used once. You can also tap server settings on the login page and enter the server IP address and port manually to log in. Click server settings. Enter the local IP address of the PPX and the link are serviced local port. Enter the public IP address of the PBX and the Linka service external port. If you fill in both local and public IP address, Linkus will use the local IP to log in when iPhone is connected to the local area network. And use the public IP when iPhone is connected to the external network or cellular data. Enter the username and password. The username is the extension number and the password is the user password of the extension user. Now log in. After login, you can edit your profile by tapping me on the button of the screen. Click edit to edit the profile. Tap to add an avatar. You can either take photo or choose from photos. Next, edit name, mobile number, and email address. And click Save. Then configure Ring Strategy under Settings. By default, your desktop extension and link us will ring simultaneously. 
When your extension has an incoming call, your phone and linkers will ring at the same time. You can change the settings according to your needs. We will keep the default setting here. For iOS 10 users, Linkers will present a regular call UI and you can tap Accept to answer the call. When iPhone is locked, you can slide to answer the call. Now tap Extensions. You will see the list of extensions that are registered to your company's S-Series PBX. You will see if they are available for a call. Tap on individual extension, you will see the contact information. Drag to update the list. Tap on individual extension, you will see the detailed contact information. Tap the star icon besides the name, you can add the contact to favorite. Tap the favorite tab, you will see your favorite contacts. To call the extension number from the screen, tap the dial icon besides the number. Tap the dial icon besides the mobile number, Linkers will automatically choose an outbound route on PPX to dial the mobile number. Linkers will use the PPX trunk for making external calls, so your mobile phone will not be charged. During a call, you can mute and unmute yourself, put the call on speaker, check call history. Check contacts. Hold and unhold the call. And record the call. You can also tap the message icon to send a short message and tap the email icon to send an email. Let's see how we can transfer a call. Tap Transfer. On the upper left corner, you can choose whether to make attended or blinded transfer. We choose attended transfer here. Suppose we want to transfer the call to Alyssa, so we enter Alyssa's extension number. And Alyssa picks up. Tap Transfer to finish. Click Me, and you can check the one-touch recordings created on Linkus. Click the Download icon to download the recording file. Click the Play icon to listen to the recording. Under Settings, you can click Clear Cache to delete the downloaded recordings. Tap Contacts. It is the same with your iPhone's native contacts. Drag to update contacts. Tap on individual contact. You could see the detailed information. The call operations are the same with that of the extensions list. Tap dial pad. You will see the screen is divided with two sections, call history and dial pad. Enter the number in the dial pad to dial out. If you are dialing an external number, it should match the rule of the PBX outbound route. You could tap the dial pad icon to hide this and tap the icon again to resume the dial pad. Tap the icon on the right side of each call record, you will see more information about this call. You could also add a strange number to your contact list. Tap the call record to call back directly. In some cases, we need to add prefix before numbers to dial out, which means we cannot tap the number in call history or contact list to dial out right away. Linker supports number rewriting to solve this issue. 
This feature needs to be used with the PBX outbound route. Now let's see how to automatically add prefix 7 for numbers. Firstly, log in at Sirius web interface and create an outbound route. As we need to add prefix 7, so we create an outbound route and set the pattern as 7 dot. Click Save and Apply. On the Linkus mobile client, the operation is easy. Choose a contact. Long press the dial icon on the right of the mobile number. Tap Dial through PBX and the route we created above. In this way, the system will automatically add prefix 7 before this number and dial through an outbound route that matches this number. Calls from call history can also be made this way. Choose a number that needs to add prefix 7. Long press dial icon on the right of the number. Tap dial through PBX and the route we created above. Prefix 7 will also be automatically added. 